Hi guys, um, from YouTube, all my followers. Um, what we're going to do here is, um, I've done a video uh, doing this uh, procedure using actually the DIS, uh, the BMW Diagnostic System. Um, but uh, I thought it would be worth to do this, uh, also show you how to do this on a DS708. So basically this is, this is, is, is a, is a E60 2007 is a 525. Um, the car came to me with uh, the steering lock uh, problem. Um, so in the end, it would come up. Uh, it would come up with a steering lock, uh, with a steering and a lock uh, showing red. This was coming on red, showing red. Sometimes it shows yellow. This was showing red all the time. Uh, the car would still start and still running, uh, but uh, was just showing that all the time. Um, uh, if you look for my other videos, you'll see how to, to do this uh, uh, reset using uh, the uh, this. Uh, here I'm going to show you. Obviously, I've done it already, so there's no faults with the car now. But I'll just take you to the menu where you do the actually uh, reset. So uh, as soon as you get into the main groups, uh, after you load the vehicle data, uh, it comes to this menu. This is the first menu you have. Uh, you have the auto scan the control units, vehicle details, and service functions. Uh, so, if you go to the control units and uh, you just go to the CAS, um, you actually have. If I can read the codes, you're going to see there's no codes. Uh, but uh, what happened is you have nowhere where to do that uh, reset. The only thing you have here is, is a CAS reset, uh, which basically just reinitiates the, the CAS. Um, that is not what we want to do. What we want to do is actually the steering lock which is under the steering column right there underneath these plastics. Uh, I had it all open to check for mechanical problems. Everything was fine so I put it all back together. Uh, if you ever take one apart it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. They are designed to be opened and not closed again. So once you take the cover off they are designed not to be able to close them again. Um, I've worked around that and I managed to close it again. Uh, but uh, but that's it. You, you be very careful when you open it. You're gonna have to figure out a way to put it all back together. Anyway, uh, so the the the, the 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 steering lock is underneath there. BMW call it L E L V electronic. I think it's a Germany acronics, but for uh, in English is is electronic steering lock. But it's called the ELV. So what we need to do on here is on a DS is coming to uh, service functions. Then we go on to drive. Then we go on to cars, and that is why you need to select reset internal ELV fault counter. Uh, the fault uh, description of this steering lock was uh, threshold above the limit. I believe I, I can't remember now. I think the S seven hundred eight was not report with the description. The description of the the actually fault was not like that. Uh, it was something else. But on BMW on on the D's, uh, it was actually saying um, uh, value above threshold. Um, just as an info, um, obviously the, the ELV, the steering lock, counts every time you put the key in and out. And every time the car is started. And what I think this is designed to do is, um, after a certain amount of counts, it triggers a fault like, uh, it's like if he has a, like if the, 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 the steering lock has a, a lifespan of a certain amount of of cycles, and after that will trigger a fault, um, and you have to replace it. The the the, 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 the correct procedure will be replace it. Um, so uh, uh, so what we do here is is when you replace the ELV, the the, the steering column, because that, that is all part of this steering column. It's not designed to be replaced on its own. It's the wall unit. Even when you put a new one, these. Um, counter is actually in the cast so you you will still have to go into the cast even if we're new with a new steering lock 
and you'll have to reset that, that counter. So what we do here is, without changing anything, we just reset and basically are telling the cars that there's a new uh, uh, steering lock fitted and the cars will just reset if there's no mechanical problems which I've opened like I said I've opened the the, 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 the lock to make sure there was no faults in there uh, mechanical faults everything was fine but while it was open I've, I've lubricated everything uh, with uh, with some grease and make sure everything is gonna work okay with no problems um, and and that's it um, I've, I've reset this actually using this but this is the menu where, where you can do it on a, on a DS708 and once this is done um, you 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 just um, uh, reset all your faults, um, delete all your faults, cycle the ignition, and uh, you should be you, you are okay to go. So as you can see, there's no more faults with the car. I can actually the engine, the engine is running. I can turn the engine off. As you can see, there's no faults. The steering lock fault will be here by now when you take the key out or when you put it in. As you can see, there's no fault at all. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope somehow this video uh, will help someone out there. Thank you.